If you don't already have your Flash application on your dock right here, it should be this uh, square with the FL on it. If you don't have that already on your dock, what you can do is go to the Finder and you can open up your Applications folder and in there you should be able to find Adobe Flash CS6. If you go into that folder, you can find the uh, icon for Adobe Flash, take it and drag it down to your dock and that way you'll have it there for the next time when you go to use Adobe Flash. Flash is already on your dock, all you got to do is double click on that icon and it'll open up. And when you open it up, what you'll see is a screen that looks similar to this one. Um, this is where you're going to start your project. So for, for this particular project, what we want to do is I want you to select Action Script 3. That's going to get you started. You'll notice that it, um, this is the interface here. I just want to change this a little bit so that it looks a little bit more like what you're used to seeing. And when I go over here to this top right corner, you'll see where it says Essentials. If this isn't already set, you can change this to Small Screen. The reason why I ask you to do that is because this is a, this is a little bit more of a the type of layout that you're used to seeing. You'll notice that your tools are over here on your right, just like they are in Photoshop and in Illustrator, which are programs that you are used to using. And then down here is what's called the timeline, which you recently used in the animation piece that we did in Photoshop as well. So there was something similar to this. It didn't look exactly like this, but there was a timeline at the bottom, so you should be kind of used to seeing something similar to that down here. Um, these numbers represent the number of frames. So this is frame number one, the next one's frame number two, three, four, five, and so on and so forth. If you look at the properties panel over here, this little properties panel, if you open this up, right here it talks about properties uh, and FPS this FPS right here has a 24 next to it. FPS stands for frames per second. Frames per second. And at this point, it's set at 24. And that's kind of a standard setting for animations. Um, so basically what that means is that for every second of video or animation that you're trying to create, you're going to need to have 24 frames. So you're going to have to create 24 frames up to here in order to have one second of video or animation. This right here is called the stage in this program. This is called the stage, and I'm talking about this white box right here. And although we're able to use the area outside of this white box, this is what's going to be seen when you export this video or this animation. You're going to see only what's seen in this white box here. So in the next video, we'll go ahead and get started in creating your actual animation project. Oh, um... Last thing, when we go to create this, to save this, what you want to do is go to save or, or start at file, save as, and we want to save it with your last name and FL1. So your last name, FL1. In this case, it'll be Martinez FL1. So this is your flash project number one. So that's why we're calling it FL1. And you'll save that. You should make a, a folder either on your desktop or part, maybe even in the documents folder. You can just make a new folder, name it whatever you want, and save this project in there. 